In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and publish a DITA map. From Microsoft Word, open the Content Mapper tab and click New Document. Select New Map and click Create. This opens up the DITA map editor. I'll adjust it to make it a little bigger. The DITA map editor has three key areas. The map you're creating with a default topic reference built in, your repository of DITA topics, and attributes and preview pane. There are a few ways to add topics to the DITA map. By clicking on the default topic reference and selecting reference link, you can search the repository in one of three ways. You can search your repository on a keyword. You can browse your repository. We'll look more at that in a moment. And you can look at recent topics. By clicking on the mapping editor, you can even add a URL. You can reference almost anything, including topics, data maps, URLs, or existing PDFs. The references may, however, be useless depending on the output format. HTML output should be able to handle all types of references, but PDF will only support references to data topics and data maps. I'm going to delete this and build a map from topics in my repository. The easiest way to do that is by browsing my directory and dragging them into my new DITA map. I can very easily preview a topic, see that it looks good, drag it up. Images are not shown to enhance the performance of the product. It would slow down the preview significantly, but they will obviously appear in the final output. I'm currently adding just topics, but I could just as easily add a completed DITA map here too. You can also create a hierarchy in the map. The hierarchy defines the layout of the table of contents. You can group topics and that'll make filtering for conditional publishing easier and you can assign attributes to a group. I want to change the order of my objectives topic so I'm going to right click and drag it. I can make it go before or after or as a child of another topic in the hierarchy. To save the map, I click on the save icon, choose a folder to save it in, give the file a name, and click save. I can also publish this DITA map. I'll click the publish button and that allows me to publish using the publication wizard, the DITA open toolkit, or a direct publishing to XML. I'll publish this to PDF using the publication wizard and a standard output. I'll add a title, an abstract, and a subtitle to my PDF. I'll give it a name and save it. Now I'll open the PDF I just created and you can see how it created a cover page, a spacer page, added a table of contents, and here are all my topics. And that's how to easily create and publish a DITA map.